Okay, class, today we're going to talk about inverse functions. Um, and so to verify that functions are inverses, we're going to compose them using composition. Um, and when you take f of f inverse of x or f inverse of f of x, you should get x out. And using our books notation, f of f inverse of x equals x and f inverse of f of x is going to equal x. Um, so that is how we we're going to verify. We're going to compose the function and its inverse and make sure that we get x out. And to find an inverse function, um, we'll swap the x and y and solve for y. And then our new y is what our f of x is, um, our f inverse of x is. And when you swap the x and the y is when you solve your inverse function, essentially you're swapping the domain and ranges for f and f inverse. So let's go ahead and do a couple examples. So for example one, we're going to verify that f and g are inverses. So to verify, we have to compose. So we're going to do f of g of x and verify that we get x out, and g of f of x and verify that we get x out. Okay, so we're going to do either one first, but we are going to verify we have to do both. So f of g of x, so g of x equals this. I'm going to write this in. I'm going to take f of the cube root of x minus 1 over 3. So what I did is I'm first finding f of g of x, so I'm replacing g of x here. That's what g of x is here. So I'm finding f of g of x, f of g of x. So I replace g of x, the yellow, g of x here. So now I'm going to plug this. This is my input. And this goes into my f function. So this is the input into the f function. So it's 3 times this is what I'm replacing with x. So the cube root of x minus 1 over 3 cubed plus 1. So we have to simplify this down. And remember, when we simplify, we ultimately want to verify to get x out if they are inverses. OK, so we have PEMDAS, parentheses and exponents. So um, I have a cube and a cube root. And the cube and the cube root undo each other, just like the square and the square root do. So this, the cube and the cube root here, cancel each other out. So we have the 3 times x minus 1 over 3 plus 1. So we did the parentheses um, and the exponent. So now I can multiply. So those go away. So I'm left with x minus 1 inside the parentheses, which I can remove, plus 1, and that equals x. So we did get x out like we wanted. But now we have to verify the other way. We have to verify that g of f of x also equals x. So g of f of x, f of x is, I'll highlight it in green. So here's my g of x, or sorry, my f of x. So that's my f of x. So that's what I'm going to now replace. So this is g of f of x, which equals 3x minus 3, 3x cubed plus 1. So f of x equals that. So all I did was replace it. And now this is going to be my input into my g function. So in my g function, wherever I had an x is now where I'm going to put all of that. So this is the cube root of x. So I replace x with my new input, which is 3x cubed plus 1. So 3x cubed plus 1, then I have minus 1, and all of that divided by 3. So my 1's cancel. So the 1 and the 1 cancel, so I have 3x cubed over 3. Now the 3's cancel. So this is the cube root of x cubed. And again, the cube root and the x cubed cancel each other out. So we're left with just x. So now that we've verified that f and g are inverses, so again, to verify, you want to compose both directions and make sure you get x out. OK, so move on to example number two. And in example number two, we want to find the inverse. So to find the inverse, we're going to write for f of x, we're going to replace it with the y. And then the next step is to swap x and y. 
So y minus 2 cubed plus 5, and we're just going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So I have x minus 5 is the quantity of y minus 2 cubed. To undo something cubed, I take the cube root of both sides. So I'm going to cube root both sides. So I have the cube root of x minus 5, and the cube root and the cube cancel each other out, y minus 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Now this 2 is outside the cube root. So I have cube root of x minus 5 plus 2 equals y, and this is my f inverse. So f inverse of x is the cube root of x minus 5 plus 2. So that is how we have, we have found the inverse. So we can check our work. Um, we're not asked to in this particular problem, but to check it, you would just compose f of f inverse of x and make sure you get x out. If you do it both ways and get x out, then you know you did the problem correctly. Well, that's all I have for tonight, so you have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you in class.